At this point in the training, I'd like to start talking about how you're going to do specific functions to manage your inventory. So let's talk for just a second about case breaks or the parent-child relationship, okay? So where we're going to go first is we're actually going to stick with our options screen. We're going to go to admit the administrative button. And then actually where we're going to go is inventory maintenance. And I'd actually like to look up a, uh, a 12 pack of something that I've already made. So we're there. I've got it right here on the card. All right. Now you see here, we're going to work with our, our little prop, the Diet Coke. And uh, we've got this in a specific department. You see the item right here. We've created the 12 pack. Now this is the parent item, okay? So the, the Diet Coke 12 pack is going to be there. All of our costs, our taxes, and uh, this you can see here, this is, uh, I've already started a little bit to track it uh, in inventory, okay? So you are going to see decimals and there's going to be a little bit of math. So what you have to do is you actually have to uh, create a couple of different settings to track this properly. So we're going to count this item, okay? Because we're going we're gonna to buy it as cases or packs and we're going to sell as individuals. Now you still can sell the 12 packs, but it just depends. You know, if you're going to buy as a 24 pack and sell, you know, the individual items and you're not going to sell the 24 pack, that is fine. But what you need to do is you need to count the parent item, okay? So we've, we've begun that. And then what we're going to do is we're, I want to show you this in just a second on the uh, child item, but this is the recipe function that we're going to use, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the child item real quick, okay? Because you see how we have that set up. So let's go back into inventory maintenance, and we're going to search for the individual item now. All right. Now you see we're selling those 12 packs as a little 16-ounce bottle. Same information here, the cost to us, et cetera. Uh, and that can be a derivative of, um, you know, how, what you pay for the 12 pack, et cetera, and those broken down into individual, uh, individual sales or individual costs, okay? So you see here, we're not going to count this specific item, okay? You can see that we have none in stock. We're not going to count this item, and we're definitely going to print this item on the receipt, and we have all those settings. Now, Let's go to the recipe like I was showing you just a second ago. And all you're going to do is you're going to add an ingredient and you're going to put the parent item within here, okay? So this is the child and you're going to place the parent item within here, okay? That is a part of the recipe. So you see the item number, the description for the parent. Now, these are going to be sold as, now since it's a 12 pack, and this isn't going to be, you know, across the board, but however you purchase it. In this case, we're taking 12 packs. So this individual item is going to be sold as a 12th of the parent item, okay? So let's actually make a sale, and then we'll go back and look at the parent item, and you can see how the inventory is going to be tracked, okay? Let's sell the item. And just to make it uh, so you can really see a change in the decimal, let's actually do a quantity change and let's sell 10 of these. All right, so now you're seeing uh, that we're gonna sell 10 of these, so it isn't quite a full case uh, or full pack, so we're just selling 10 of these, so I do want you to see, now remember it was 10 point uh, you know, decimal repeating that you saw within the parent item, so let's sell this. We're gonna pay cash for it. We're not gonna print a receipt. Now let's go back and look at the parent item going to go back to inventory maintenance. Now, just for quick recall, we're going to pull this up. Now you see that if you go back and look, it was 10.8 or something, and this is actually now to 10.02. Now there is going to be a repeating decimal, and we're actually going to show you how you can eliminate those decimals and start from scratch from time to time, uh, and or reduce it down to something like this to where it's a more manageable decimal. So basically you see that we have 10 packs left, okay? That in essence is case breaks.